All right, guys, um, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel and I came prepared for this video this week because I made a list of all the changes I did since the last devlog. So all the important stuff is on this piece of paper or on the list. This is a dummy piece of paper. I don't really keep lists on paper anymore. I'm not that old fashioned. I have it on my phone, so I came prepared. Um, except I forgot my phone. Um, I have a list, I am prepared. I just need to get something first. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, like I said, I'm prepared. I have a list, so let's go through the main topics. Um, what are the changes since last week? Uh, the biggest one was adding doors to hallways. Uh, adding doors is pretty easy. Uh, although the game is procedurally generated, but I know where all the hallways are, so it, it was very easy to add doors to them. The problem with doors in procedurally generated games is that you also want locked doors, and a locked door need a key. So you need to make sure there are enough keys in the level uh, before you add the doors. And you also want to make sure that those keys are placed before the player uh, meets or sees the door, because you first need a key and then you want the door. So this took a couple of days to get it right. Uh, but in the end, I made it work, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it. There are now doors in the game. So my solution was fairly simple. I have a maze, I have rooms, and I have end rooms. Basically, the end of a corridor it has a room, and from there on, there's nothing else. So that's a room with one exit. The best place was to place doors with locks before those rooms. And those rooms will be very special rooms, like an armory room where you can grab a bunch of weapons and ammunition and items and things like that and maybe like a treasure room or maybe like a special room that opens up a new area or uh, even a boss room something like that so those rooms will be very special um, and they are now being generated and all the other doors in the game will just be normal doors that don't require a key also uh, those doors don't really require a key if you have enough explosives there is another way to open those doors Probably not added to the game just yet, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Anyway, let's move on with the list. All right, I added things like crates and of course also these doors. They needed interaction with playing cards. So all the code that handles that is now added. So we now have uh, crates and other entities that basically have no function or action, but you can still use cards to interact with these type of objects. So the code is there right now. It's just crates and doors, but there could be a host of other things added to the game later on. Another fun thing was adding a couple of different variations of enemies. So we now have different creatures running around and I'm not sure the blue one from the last videos will be in the game because it doesn't really fit with what I wanted, but I'm still adding a very cute and colorful creatures and aliens and enemies in there because I like that feeling of the game being a cheerful, even though it's a moody spaceship. It, it, it's, it's, it's a feeling, I can't explain it, but this is what I wanted, so this is what I'm doing. Furthermore, I've been adding some sound effects. Uh, basically, um, they are now being triggered in many cases by cards. So if you play a card, that card has a sound effect attached to it, and the sound effect plays when you play the card, which is, I thought, pretty genius. Um, and uh, it works pretty, pretty good. So all the cards now can have sound effects. They don't need to, but most have sound effects and, and they are triggered at the right time by the cards. And it's a very cool system that I built. Um, can't show it really to you because that's boring, but trust me, it's, it's awesome. It's, wow, it's amazing. Like literally, it's probably the best card system in the world. Probably not, but I can say it as long as I don't show it, right? All right, moving on to the list. The other big things is adding um, items like bombs, but also adding weapons that can cover multiple squares or tiles on the world. So like the original space guns, there will be a rail gun and a rail gun pretty much shoots horizontal lines, but hits more than just one enemy. So if you can line up the enemies, attack the front one and use the rail gun, you should be able to destroy all of these aliens, which is uh, violent, but pretty funny. It's a game, It's that's why I want to add cute graphics so that you don't feel as bad or maybe you might actually feel worse because you're killing cute aliens. Let's not think too much about it. Um, that, that, let, moving on to the list, do we have more? No, we don't have more. We, uh, this is really basically covering the highlights of the game so far. Um, I've also been adding different uh, playing cards to the game because uh, I tried that last week. Let's not 
I don't do magic again, still not, no. Um, so there will be different type of cards, like you could play an invisibility card when you enter a room, so like uh, play the invisibility card and then you're invisible. And um, hang on guys, it just lasts for a couple of turns. Right, so uh, like I said, playing an invisible, invisibility card it makes you invisible and the enemies won't see you and you can attack them and they won't bite back or stuff like that. There will be more of those type of cards. Like I said, we also have a EMP card that uh, if you play... Sorry, uh, I just played the EMP card, meaning all the electricity uh, shuts down. I won't do that again, but uh, cards like that will be in the game. Um, basically, the cards are your inventory system, except that cards might have multiple functions where inventory in the original Space Grunts usually only had one function. In this case, cards can do a lot of stuff like uh, bomb cards. If you play, I'm not gonna play the bomb card. That's If you play a bomb card, then basically everything explodes. So I'm not gonna play this one in the house, maybe once outside somewhere, but if you play a bomb card, everything explodes. And uh, there will be more cards like that in the game. And um, that also brings us to the end of this video because I talked about the highlights of the video. I showed you the highlights of the new version. Um, the game is coming to Steam pretty soon, Early Access. Uh, but I'll talk about that probably next week, hopefully, maybe. For now, this is it and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. That was a bomb card. All right, um, be careful when you play a bomb card. Just saying, putting it out there. See you guys next week. Bye.